and then the GFS put some decent snow down into St. Louis. The GFS, I believe, actually has this system getting a little bit farther down to the south. Similar to the Euro, puts the snow a little bit farther south, though. Still good snow for Chicago. The biggest difference between the GFS right now and the European that I see is what happens in this region here. Indianapolis, Columbus, Detroit, Central Illinois look like they could get a lot better snow with the GFS outcome here. And then also our American model tries to throw a little bit of snow out towards the coast ahead of this system as well. So it's pushing this cold air a little bit farther to the south and the east. We move into early next week. That cold air continues to push down to the south and the GFS thinks maybe we could get snow as far south as Oklahoma City, Tulsa. I do buy that we're going to get very cold air very far south, freezing air very far south. I don't know that we're going to get snow out in this region. I'm not saying it's impossible though and we're only really looking 114 hours out. So again, this stuff is starting to get within forecasting range. Let's continue to move forward. This actually wouldn't be that great. We'd have a big ice storm through portions of Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, portions of Virginia, Pennsylvania. But watch what the GFS does here. Still gives you a chance for that snow up and down the I-95 corridor. Although I still don't think you guys want this type of snow up and down the I-95 corridor because this would be followed by ice and then heavy rain and, uh, it would be a mess to get that good fluffy snow where you're below freezing as the system moves through. We need this low pressure just to be a little bit farther out to the south and east, and we need this cold air just a tiny bit farther to the south. Still possible, although I am leaning towards this is going to be a potentially big inner New England snowstorm.